I've been reading Kevin Hall's book called Aspire, and he talks about Jen Shai. Jen Shai is never treating anyone in a way that would make them feel small, never looking at, talking to, or, or touching someone in a way that would make them feel small. And the example that he uses is a beggar. If you walked by a beggar and just tossed a coin to him as you walked by, you would not be practicing Jen Shai. But if you were to kneel down and look into his eyes, as you place that coin in his hands, then you would be practicing Genshai. And I thought about this in the context of children and how in size they are smaller than we are, but we're actually equals. They were born later than we were, but our spirits are equal. And um, thinking back to my own childhood, different things that I had said to me, things like um, act your age and not your shoe size, or children are to be seen and not heard, or the one that always makes my kids laugh when when I tell them that, that I was told this when I was little, sit down before I knock you down. That always gets a good laugh because they think that's pretty funny. Anyway, but but saying things like that to children, things that as adults we don't even think about. We just say them out of frustration or a way to get a child to leave us alone for a while or um, just as a way to stop a behavior that we don't want. Um, we end up making them feel small. I had an experience today with my son who's almost three and he was whining and um, someone started kind of whining back and mimicking him and making fun of him and I said please don't um, shame him and she said well if I do it long enough then he'll stop and I said no shaming someone never brings about the desired change that you want it may bring about a change in the immediate in the short term but in the long term that never ever is the best way to deal with a situation with a child and think about as an adult how we would feel being treated like that and we would never want to be treated like that and a child doesn't understand um, that when we do those things that it's actually our problem that we're having within us in the way that we're reacting to their behavior and so um, they don't understand that and so they take it on as something that's wrong with them and um, so I, I really am trying to concentrate on this word genshai and treating everyone that I come in contact with as if they are which they truly are my equal and even children and um, so that I guess that's just my challenge to you is to look at the children in your lives look at the people in your lives and really treat them as the the person that you would want them to become because that's truly what happens people will become who we expect them to become and our children become who we expect them to become not an expectation as a, a demand of who we demand them to be but an expectation of how they feel inside about themselves you know do we um, give them the the love and the honor and the respect so that they feel that love and honor and respect within themselves or do they feel shame and guilt and um, not feel happy being around us? And so if you have a chance, the book is Aspire by Kevin Hall. It's a really great book about the meaning of words. It's got a, a nice story to it and the word Jenshai.